Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. The driver said he went to pick up a passenger in South Baltimore, but four people showed up instead of just one. They eventually forced him into the trunk of his vehicle, but he was able to use an emergency latch to set himself free. He jumped out and then started screaming for help. Uber and Lyft drivers are in high alert after what one of their fellow drivers said happened to them earlier this week. It's scary because I do this full time, so it's like you wonder if it could happen to you. According to a Baltimore City Police report, a Lyft driver was scheduled to pick up a passenger in South Baltimore around 10 Wednesday night. But when the driver arrived, instead of one passenger, there were four. The victim said when he tried to drop them off at their destination, they told him to keep driving. And when they eventually stopped, two of them pulled two guns on him and then told him to get into the back seat. According to the police report, the suspects asked the driver for his iPhone 14 and password or they would kill him, told him to take off his Apple Watch and delete the data, then told the driver to get into the trunk of the vehicle and that they're going to use his vehicle and Lyft app to pick up more people and then rob them them too. But once he was in the trunk, the driver used the emergency latch inside the trunk to open it up, jumped out while they were driving away, and then began screaming for help. The suspects got away. This is the latest of at least three similar incidents where investigators say rideshare drivers have become victims. Lyft said this is horrific. They also said in a statement they've reached out to the driver to offer support and stand ready to assist law enforcement with any investigation. A rideshare driver we spoke with said he's now considering a career change. It's hard to to make a living doing this, especially at night where that's usually the most money being made is at night and it's it's scary. Yeah. It's like almost to the point where you don't want to do it anymore. Baltimore City Police said they have made arrests in previous cases, and right now they're working with their local and federal partners for the investigation. Live at City Police Headquarters, Average Way Burnett. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.